What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to another on-chain gaming video. Today we are talking about a brand new play to earn crypto MMO that is coming to Gala Games platform. And I've already mentioned this video several times. I think I made a top three video on the top three games coming to Gala Games. But in this video, I just want to do a like complete overview of this one specific game. Um, and we are talking about AMC's The Walking Dead Empires. And this is honestly one of the first really big IPs that is coming to play and earn gaming, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're about to jump in. In this video, I'm going to start with some basics to catch those of you guys who are new to crypto gaming up to speed then we're gonna go into the basics of the walking dead empire so uh, if you already know about crypto gaming you can probably just skip to that part uh, and then finally we'll go into some of my thoughts and we'll talk about a recent AMA that gala games just had with the developers behind the walking dead empires and then throughout this whole video I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how you can profit off of the walking dead empires so there's a lot to jump into if this sounds good do remember to drop a big thumbs up on this video hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already and now let's get into it So now starting off, I feel like it's important to catch new people up to speed because I believe that like globally only 700,000 people have even ever purchased an NFT on Ethereum, uh, which is such a tiny percentage of people. So most of you guys who are watching are just interested in this space, but actually looking from the outside in. So if you're not sure what the big deal is about, pretty much because of blockchain technology, uh, which has enabled uh, the creation of Bitcoin and Ethereum, we're getting ownership in virtual worlds for the first time. So you get real verifiable ownership of limited assets. And this is very, very secure. And all of a sudden, the idea of ownership in digital worlds becomes a real possibility. In all previous generations of gaming, players never really owned anything. Everything belonged as the IP of the gaming company and they really owned all of it. And if you did something they didn't like, they could delete your entire account. And even things that you've paid real dollars for in like League of Legends, for example, you don't actually own and you're not supposed to be able to resell to other players. But because of the blockchain, we are getting real ownership in the digital world for the first time. This is a massive revolution. It allows for earning potential in games because all of a sudden assets that are in virtual worlds have real value because they're limited and very verifiable and it's just a very exciting revolution. So now let's talk about The Walking Dead Empires, which is one of the first really big AAA IPs that is jumping onto the blockchain. So starting off just very simply, The Walking Dead Empires is a top-down massive multiplayer online game where you are a survivor and you have to fight against the walkers or zombies. And in this world where you're fighting for survival and trying to build up your base, you can generate and gather resources and there is a coin inside The Walking Dead Empires game that you're going to be able to earn by playing as well. So this is a role playing game. This is a survival game, but it's also a game of ownership and economics. And I think that it's going to have something for everyone. So the game is set to release honestly in not too long. I believe that by the end of 2022 or early 2023, The Walking Dead Empires is actually going to be ready to launch. So in preparation of the launch of Walking Dead Empires, they're giving us players who are excited about this game's release some opportunities to actually participate in the ownership of the land inside the game. So we're going to start this section on the basics of The Walking Dead Empires by talking about why own land and well, what is land? So The Walking Dead Empires is going to allow landowners the greatest play to earn potential by allowing them to manage the land that they own, which may be inhabited by other players. Generally speaking, the rarer the owned land plot, the greater the play to earn potential is for its owner. So I wanna take a break here from the article and tell you kind of about how the game is uh, is planning on, on being situated on launch. So it is going to start in Georgia around the same area of the Walking Dead show. So a lot of these early land plots that are getting sold are in the state of Georgia. And there's 10 counties in Georgia, and there are like these heavily populated 
populated like city areas. And then as you go out from city centers, you get into more wilderness areas. And the closer you are to a main city, the more walkers there's gonna be, the more player activity there's gonna be, the more profitable it's probably gonna be to own land that is in these more populated areas. And uh, the more of these like rare resources you're gonna be able to find, and then the further out into the forest and stuff you go, the more like common resources like wood and brick and stone uh, that you're gonna be able to find. So that's kind of how it's going to work. So we'll look at the Gala Game store uh, towards the end, but as you look at the land rarities, it's kind of going most rare in the middle of these city centers where there's gonna be the most player activity to most common as you get further and further into the outskirts or the forest. But um, in these areas, the walkers aren't gonna be as dangerous either, so it actually makes might be easier to like set up your base, set up your uh, structure. You are gonna be able to put NFTs on your land, but then you're also gonna be able to build structures on your land just based on playing the game and gathering resources within the game. So now going back to the article, the owner of land is entitled to a share of the rewards reaped from activity on the land. As an owner, you can manage the land remotely, allowing it to be settled, watching the mayhem and collecting the rewards. Whether or not you take an active role in management of your land and the protection of the people who live on your land, you will still be the owner of the land and earn the reward. So essentially what they're saying here is that if you're kind of just interested in investing in these crypto games or investing in land in the metaverse, well, The Walking Dead Empires is a game you might want to look into because you're going to be able to reap the rewards of player activity on your land, even if you have no interest in playing yourself, which I think is really smart by Gala Games, really smart by The Walking Dead, because it opens up land to all types of investors, all types of crypto investors, and just people that are interested in speculative and uh, new, revolutionary, innovative asset classes. And yeah, it's going to bring a lot of people in. And I hope that a lot of you guys who are like watching this channel and actually excited about playing video games, as well as excited about real ownership for the first time in games, can get some of this land, because I feel like it's going to feel so rewarding for people who really love of playing the game and like really enjoy the game to be able to be playing on their own land and reaping the full benefit, the full potential that they can earn for playing The Walking Dead as well. But players are able to own multiple plots of land just as people are able to own multiple real estate properties in the real world, but each player can only live in one place at a time. So now we have to talk about another section of the game uh, kind of beyond land, uh, which is this concept called the battlegrounds. And the battlegrounds are gonna be areas of land that are actually not owned by players at all. So disputed lands are also known as battlegrounds. Players who plan to lead alliances into the fray and fight for control of alliances and empires will want to strategically place themselves as close as possible to these battlegrounds. So I think the idea of a battleground land is that anyone is gonna be able to set up their base there, but then someone else, like you're not only gonna be having to fight against uh, the walkers, but other human players can come try to take over your base as well. So it's gonna be a lot riskier and it feels like this is gonna be like maybe a PVP enabled part of the MMO map. I'm reading into this a little bit, but this is uh, my assumption. Charging boldly into life or death situations may not be for everyone, and fortunately there are countless other strategies that can be pursued. For example, a clever alliance may hold back, mustering their forces and building stockpiles. Battleground combat is not the only way to earn dead coin in The Walking Dead empires. So now I just want to talk about one other main section of the Walking Dead empires, which is some of the like basic play to earn mechanics for most of the players who are going to be jumping into this MMO to try and see how long they can survive against the walkers. So the play to earn economy of the Walking Dead empires is based on dead coin. Players will have the opportunity to earn dead coin, not only by owning land, but through in-game actions like defeating walkers, clearing dungeons, 
and selling items that you've crafted. So below this video, I will link the official contract address of Deadcoin. Make sure you guys do not get scammed. Do not buy fake Deadcoins. Use the link in either uh, the description of this video, or I will also link this help article and you can go through the link in the official Walking Dead article as well. Uh, it will be the same exact link. Essentially, the more action you face, the greater your play to earn potential. In the unforgiving world of The Walking Dead, characters are not rewarded for laying low and hiding, but for participating in the ongoing chaotic fight for survival. There will be many ways to play to earn, but those who build stockpiles, strength, and alliances will certainly thrive. So still a little bit vague here, but actually there are kind of some specifics in here. Like you're literally gonna earn dead coin for killing walkers, for clearing dungeons, and for selling items that you've crafted, which I mean, that sounds like a lot of the fun things that you're gonna wanna be doing. So uh, that sounds really, really cool. So uh, there is gonna be a land rush in the Walking Dead empires uh, for areas around Georgia. Right now, actually let's uh, jump over. This is a, a great time to do it. Um, if we look, at the Gala Games store, which is just app.gala games. I'll have a link in the description if you want to create a Gala Games account. If you go to the game section and the Walking Dead Empires, then you will see that right now, the only things that are for sale are these dead claims uh, for, for land in the Walking Dead. And these land claims give you the right to a piece of land of the rarity uh, that you own the NFT of, but there isn't a specific piece of land that you actually own yet. So there is gonna be a land rush at a certain point, uh, which you guys can follow on Chain Gaming. Make sure you're hitting subscribe uh, to stay up to date on, on when this land rush is gonna happen. Um, also, if you own land in The Walking Dead because you've bought it through the Gala Games store, um, then make sure you have your email notifications on to know, uh, cause then you'll get an email alert when you actually get a pick, like specifically what land you own in the game. But yeah, essentially, as I explained before, uh, the gray land, the common land will be like the furthest out from city centers. Um, and then the, the highest ancient land, uh, this dead claim is probably going to be in the smack dab, uh, the, of the middle of like the most populated, uh, area. Now, some of these, uh, land claims definitely are not cheap. I mean, uh, 29,000 uh, gala. Uh, gala's a little under 20 cents right now. Uh, so you guys can do the math. It's, it's thousands of dollars for this land claim. But if this is a fun game, uh, which it's a massive IP and Gala Games uh, has incredible game developing studios that they, that they bring on board uh, to build these games. If this is a fun game, uh, then I think a lot of the revenue generation potential of some of these land deeds for, for games like The Walking Dead and Mirandus still super, super underappreciated uh, because yeah, well, it, it's speculative and the economy doesn't exist yet and the players of this game don't exist yet. But Gala Games has a massive community I know this game's gonna have a lot of players. I'm definitely gonna be featuring it on more videos going forward, but I hope that this video overall was a really informative for all of you and kind of gave you a good basic understanding of how The Walking Dead Empires um, is gonna play. If you guys wanna learn even more about The Walking Dead Empires, I will also link below uh, the AMA uh, that Bitbender just had with the development team behind The Walking Dead Empires, and you guys can watch that a little over our AMA and learn even more. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to drop a big thumbs up. Oh, I should say, uh, Champions Assist Ascension, which is a game I've talked about. I'll have that video linked in the description uh, below. So many things I'm linking below here. Champions Ascension is a really great triple A title coming out from Jam City. Um, and they are currently uh, giving out whitelist spots for their 10,000 Prime Eternal NFT drop. And they've actually given Onchain Gaming us a few of these whitelist spots to give away. So I will actually have this as the pinned comment. Um, if you sign up for a whitelist spot through the link link uh, in the pinned comment, then it will enter you uh, to win. Uh, you can do all the things and get uh, more entrance for a whitelist spot. Um, but then if you leave a comment below uh, saying that you entered through our link, then it will enter you into a on-chain gaming giveaway as well. Um, and we're going to be giving away a whitelist spot to someone who leaves a comment. Um, we've been doing this in several videos. Um, so yeah, thank you champions.
Ascension uh, for sponsoring the end portion of this video. I hope some of you guys who are really into this uh, saw this part and uh, can get your entrance into the whitelist for Champions Ascension. I think some of these Prime Eternals that are gonna be dropping might be worth a lot in the future. But yeah, that is it from us. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your support, Patreon supporters. Uh, I don't make these videos by myself. Nate, my brother, edits these videos. Josh, our friend, does the original intro and outro music. And Aaron, uh, another one of our brothers just moved here and he is now responding to emails and doing like a, all the agent work because there are so many people who want to reach out and do stuff with on-chain gaming, uh, which is just all literally thanks to you guys. So thank you guys all so much for supporting and for watching. And until next time, everyone, have fun roaming the metaverse.